Today I'm going to tell you about some budget games. I'm gonna go straight to the point for once. A lot of YouTubers never get straight to the point, am I right? So you know, I got some messages in my inbox on Twitter. You should play this game, you said. And so I did. It's a new game and it is called A Short Hike goes for $7.99. Now it is a game where you are climbing a mountain. It is sort of open world. There's no loading screens once you're inside the game. So there is this island, this mountain. The funny thing is that, you know, the use of camera angles is that as you traverse around and around this mountain and up the mountain, the camera follows you. Another funny thing, when it comes to camera angles anyway, you sometimes come across binoculars and you get this weird and funny way of looking at things from another perspective. It is kind of fun. And I'm really enjoying the graphics in this one. Unique graphics. They look like Nintendo DS graphics. The game looks like it could be on this system. Looks like DS sort of graphics. Something between pixelated and 3D. And it works. So in this game you get small quests, fetch quests. I couldn't put this game down when I played it. So in two sittings I beat the game. So it is a short hike, a short game, if you know what I mean. Because it's so short that is why it goes for $7.99. So it's a budget game. But it is a really relaxing experience and I don't regret this game at all. But I wish it was longer, I wish there were more islands. I wish they worked more on this game, but it is what it is. It is a small, short, cheap game. So you get what you get, I guess. So you can put it on your wish list and wait for a sale so that it is even cheaper. Mm -hmm. Now the second budget game, under $10, Heroki. Such a colorful and pretty little game. Well, this game is longer than a short hike, so you get more for your money in this game. And it goes for $9.99, a game that I had on my wish list, apparently. I forgot that I had it on my wish list, but it was on sale, story of my life. So, you know, I jumped on it. Now, it takes a lot for me to play anything side-scrolling since I feel like I have um, grown away from side-scrollers in recent years. I just sort of moved away from them, I, I guess. But this feels different to me as you are actually flying. It's not so much platforming on the ground, it's more like side-scrolling plat... plat I don't know if I can call it platforming if you're not on the ground, but you're flying anyway with a helicopter head, sort of. So it just feels different to me since you are flying. And it is super bright, pretty colors, and it feels fresh and nice. So this game surprised me. It was originally a mobile game, but it is ported beautifully over to the Switch. It's a very pleasant game and it is very cheap when it is on sale, so I have to say that I, I like this game. Also a game that you can put on your wish list and wait for, you know, an even cheaper price. Now the third budget game, it is Poor Man's Mario Kart. No, I'm just kidding. It is Beach Buggy Racing and it is so smooth. 60 frames per second smoothness. It's a smooth racer that is having some inspiration, of course, taken from Mario Kart, where you pick up power-ups, and there are a lot of power-ups in this game. A lot of different drivers and buggies, you know, cars and, you know, and it has like championships, time trials. It's a decent racing game uh, for $10, well, $9.99. I enjoy this game. It has pretty graphics. I like the graphics, but most of all, I, I just enjoy the smoothness, you know. I've started to get eyes that can recognize 60 frames per second. I'm starting to get spoiled on the 60 frames per second thing. Uh, I think I have trained my eyes up to recognize that sort of thing. I never thought that would happen. This was also originally actually a phone game and then ported over to the Switch. 
beach buggy racing has tropical vibes, but it also has winter levels, a variety of levels. I like it. Now the fourth game is actually a poor man's Mario 64. This game has actually dropped in price since back when I talked about it last, and that is probably two years ago. It is called Poi. It goes now for $9.99, if I am to believe the internet. I remember I bought it for like $40 back in the day. Anyways, it is a 3D platformer and it has great worlds, you know, great world designs, great value. Actually, this game is a lot of value if you get it for $10. Because I played this game two years ago and I still have fond memories of it. And it has all these elements that you already recognize if you have ever played a 3D Mario. It has like triple jumps and backflips and flying and a hub world and a bunch of separate worlds where you collect medallions that are equivalent to Mario stars. It has also great music. I enjoy the graphics, they are fun enough. It is such a cute Mario 64 clone game. So Poi, definitely fun if you're looking for a 3D platformer, definitely. Now game number five today is a, I mean, since I'm already doing the poor man version stuff, uh, this is poor man's 2D Zelda and it is called Shalnor Legends. It goes for $9.99. It is a pixel style top down RPG, action RPG, since you swing your sword. Now this game I don't recommend it very much, but it's not like I'm not recommending it either. So it's a thing, it's a middle thing. It is what it is, is what I'm trying to say. It is not Zelda, but it is, in its defense, made by only one man. This game, made by one man. So you know, there's that. It looks like it's trying to be sort of like Zelda A Link to the Past. That is definitely where it's taking inspiration, in my opinion. It has small dungeons and traps and puzzles, and it looks really cute and simple, because it is in every way cute and simple. You use gold coins that you collect to upgrade stuff. So Shalnor Legends, it is what it is, but put it on your wish list. buy it when it is on sale. Now, the last game that I have in my, you know, notes here, it is called Never Again. And it is a horror atmosphere walking simulator game. That weird ass genre that I never play. You know, I have already said so. I said so before that I don't enjoy or play horror games because I don't like jump scares, but this game doesn't have a lot of jump scares. It is a horror game, but it's more building up slowly with story and, you know, creepiness in general um, when you are exploring the house that you explore in the game. This game has fun physics. You can lift up anything and throw it around, so the physics, I feel like they nailed it. But uh, since this is not a game for me necessarily, it's not like I recommend it a lot, but if you enjoy horror games, I would say, yeah pick this up on sale. It is not super crap. It's just not my type of game, but I'm including the game anyway. Now I'm going to make more videos in this style. So, you know, just wait for more videos in this style. I'm gonna talk more about a lot of budget titles for the Switch because I have made a huge list. So I'm just tackling a few of them in each video in this style. But I gotta say, as a side note to the entire budget games video idea, often I feel like if you put more money into a game, like buy a more expensive game, sometimes that is actually more budget friendly. Because if you buy a super good game for the full, super full price, it can actually last you longer and that way give you more bang for the buck by having quality and longevity. 
So if you're like really on a tight budget, I would say <laughs> Zelda Breath of the Wild, I would say watch my top 10 video and get Skyrim. And also my recently played Dragon Quest Builders 2 comes to mind. And I am 120 hours into that game. I feel like whenever a game holds me for over 100 hours, I am not complaining. I have gotten all the bang for my buck at that point, is what I feel like. So, you know, sometimes I would actually recommend buying more expensive games that may give you more value and longevity in the long run. But anyways, that was... Uh, just something to think about today. Thank you so much for watching everyone and uh, I will see you later. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.